and welcome back to the Turdford Show. All right, today's video is on, I guess we can just call it the Magnet Lab for now, for something short. If you can think of something better, that's fine. But today's lab, we're going to be looking at the properties of magnet. We're actually going to have two parts to it. So we'll, so we'll say this is the first part. So in the first part of the lab, all you're going to need is a bar magnet, and it's just one, a bar magnet, and this other thing is what we call a plotting compass. And that's all we're going to need for the first part of the lab. And literally what you're going to do is map, literally if I was to do it like shorthanded, literally you're going to map the magnetic field of a magnet, what you can't actually see with your eyes, you're going to map. So let's go ahead and do this. And one of the first things we're going to need is this. We're going to need a sheet of long paper. And I'm talking about like the 14-inch long computer paper. And I've got to lay it down specifically in such a way that the paper is actually laying north to south. So the paper needs to be laying north and south. So you've got to know which direction is north in the room you're in. For me, north is like literally this way. So that's why I'm drawing it like this instead of north-south. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a single bar magnet and lay in the center of that sheet of paper. And I'm going to look at how I lay it. I'm laying it so that the south end of the magnet is actually facing north. And the north end of the magnet is facing south. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay that down and trace it. Let's actually just go ahead and pick that up like literally right now. Let's see if we can't do that. So here's my long, you can tell it's a long sheet of paper. And in the dead center of it, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lay down a magnet. And so here's my magnet. I'm laying it in the center. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to trace the magnet. And it's not going to trace real good because I've got some iron on this magnet. It's probably going to wreck my Sharpie too. But anyway, so I'm going to lay this down. I'm going to trace my magnet. Hopefully you'll do a better job than me, but i got some crappy iron all over my paper. And this is my south end. That is my north end of a magnet. I'm going to go ahead and do something. I'm going to put a few dots around each end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe go to the other end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I will get crazy. Eight, nine. I'll throw a couple extra. So you should have a bunch of dots on paper that look like this. Lay your magnet back down. And then what you're going to do is actually use this plotting compass. And I got some glare on my paper. I'll see if I can't knock that glare off to maybe try and help. What you're going to do is this. Lay the compass down. It doesn't matter which end of the compass does the pointing. Just lay it down so that one end of your compass points the dot. Then all you have to do is put a dot on the other end of the compass. Slide it over. And then do the same thing again. Put a dot on the other end of the compass. And basically just keep doing exactly what you see me doing until you either hit something or in my case I just ran out of paper. And once you run out of paper then just go back and start at another dot. And so maybe start at this one down here. Line it up and then put your dot on the other end and then just keep on going until you run out of paper again. And when you're all done, you're going to have a sheet of paper with dots going all over the place. Da, da, I love dots. I love dots. I do like dipping dots, by the way, but that's completely here nor there. Frozen ice cream. You really think they took in the space? I don't know. But anyway, when you're all done with this, take a ruler or a straight edge and connect your dots on the paper. Now, in theory, if you're a really good freehand, and the dots are actually, the, it's actually more of a curving arc is the reality of it. But anyway, you do how you want to do it so it keeps it neat and pretty looking. And you should have, and the whole purpose of this is this. You should be able to get a good idea of the way the magnetic fields of a compass behave, or the way the magnetic field of a magnet behaves. One of the big things I want you to get from this, if you did this right, you should notice none of your lines cross each other. That should be something. When you're done and you got little dotted lines going everywhere, none of them should cross. Matter of fact, you should notice, especially if you come down to these like 
a little farther down the magnet, you should notice something really neat that happens to those. It tells you actually, I'll give you a hint. If you do this lab and learn what happens here, the reality is if your paper was big enough, see how this is arcing? It would do the exact same thing as one of these. But what is it? I don't know. You'll have to do the lab. All right. So what about part two for the lab? So let's take a look at part two. I said that there were two parts to this lab. So part one was with the compass. So let's take a look at the second part of the lab. So the second part of the lab, you need a pair of bar magnets. Easy enough, except I misspelled magnets. Anyway, you need a pair of bar magnets, and you need what's known as iron filings. And if you're sitting there going, what are iron filings? Well, here you go. It's literally iron that's been ground off of something, so this just looks like black powder. So anyway, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to actually get a sheet of paper, and I'm going to actually break it up into four pieces for this part. So I'm going to get a sheet of paper, and I'm going to break it up into four parts. So if I had a ruler, I'd be using it because I do love straight lines. So I'd be going across here and across here. So I'm going to break this sheet of paper up into four pieces. And what I'm actually going to do is this. In like this corner, I'm going to draw a picture of a magnet. And again, if I was doing this to like turn in, I'd be using a ruler the whole nine yards, north, south. And then over here, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to draw a picture of, now, it's going to be two magnets, and I'm going to lay it so they got like poles facing each other, north, north, or south, south. Either way, I'm going to go down this corner, and I'm going to do this. Well, we did like poles. Let's do opposite poles. Let's do north, south down in this corner. And then over here, let's do this. Last drawing. Four drawings total. I'm going to lay two magnets down, and whenever you store a magnet, whenever you store a magnet, you should store it so they have opposite poles adjacent to each other like this. And now you're probably asking, well, how far apart are these gaps supposed to be? And I'm going to say roughly, keep those about one inch apart when doing the lab. One inch for here, one inch, one inch. And that should have you in good shape. So, all right, Mr. Cole, so what are we going to be doing now? I know I need a magnet. What I'm going to do? I want you to draw a picture of a magnet. That's easy. You just drew one. Yeah, but I want you to do this. Take a magnet, lay it down. Let's see if I can get kind of centered here. And I'm going to cover it in a piece of paper, just like this. And now what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to take some iron filings, and I'm going to sprinkle over the magnet, and you should see a picture made. Now, what I want you to do is this. I want you to draw that picture. You should see a pattern here. Look at the little dots and swirly swirls. They're all like, wee, look at these things. Ah, oh, it's so cool. Look at the dots and the swirly swirls. Anyway, what I want you to do is draw a picture of that. Now, let's, let's, let's kind of reinforce something. One, you notice you have to sprinkle it even. If you don't do that, it looks like crap. Can I say crap on the turd? Oh, it's a turdford channel. Of course I can say crap on the turdford channel. By the way, do you notice how you can clean up your filings by folding your paper? Do not do this. I don't see anything. Yeah, okay? You need to sprinkle even. There's got to be something. Or the ever famous, somebody will do this. And they will then draw this on the sheet of paper. No! How many times can I say it? You need to sprinkle. Hey, if you got to, use your fingers and do like a little dusting over it. But you want a even sprinkle of iron. And it should reveal to you a pretty decent little picture. Except in my case, I'm getting iron everywhere. Now, I'll be honest, usually if it's your first run, you'll do your best job. Like I got a little too much here clumps there but anyway you get the idea so draw a picture of this uh you want us to draw a picture of that you dang skippy so let's take a look what do i mean by a picture and i just poured iron all on my boots so anyway what do i mean by a picture well let's see lo and behold somebody will draw a picture that looks like this this will be someone's photo 
north, south. It looked like this. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call it. Your grade's probably going to be about what you'd expect for five seconds of doing. Uh, somebody might even do this one. North, south. Then they'll draw a couple antennas on it. Yeah, no! Draw a picture of what it looked like. You should have seen it. It was beautiful. I'll name him Charlie. He had little dotty dots in the center that made little tiny little... Look at this. Little tiny loopity loops. All through the wee loopity loop, wee loopity loop. He had a little wee. Look at this. He's so beautiful. He had like little ding 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 ding. There's no antennas here. He had little dotty thingies that were all coming off the tops. Wee. Feel like I'm drawing a pineapple tree. Actually, pineapples don't grow on trees. Hey. Exactly. Pineapples grow on trees. Just like this beautiful bar magnet I'm drawing. The point is, use a ruler. Take a little time. Draw something neat. Don't sit here and go, ah. F, you fail. Draw something neat and beautiful. Anyway, deuces, 11 minutes in. As always, the Turdford channel loves and appreciates your support. Feel free to send me money. 20 bucks wouldn't hurt. Later. Bye.